show comes to you live from the Mile High City in Coors Field. It'll be the youngsters with the chance to shine here the Futures game between the American League Futures and the future stars from the National League. We've got baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Mackenzie Gore, a lefty from North Carolina, gets the starting assignment. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So stepping in is Robert Poisson. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. That's a ball. And this is low, ball two, Count two and one. Eight. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Now the 2 1 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Lutz will wait on it. And he puts it away for the first down. Batting second. The center fielder. Jason. Into the box now, Jason Dominguez. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's that favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough Juan job, and Rodriguez. even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box, Julio Rodriguez. Hey. Well located changeup on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Alec Manoa, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. The batter will be C.J. Abrams. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Jacobson is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Batting second. The center fielder. Connor. Scott. So now to the plate. Connor Scott. Three and one. one break. Bases are empty. One man out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Jacobson will get there with ease as he puts it away for route number two. Batting third. The catcher. Roll. Batista. At the plate now is Raul Batista. Here's the one and two delivery. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh. 
fouled away. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Second inning upcoming here in Denver with no score. And now, Chad DeLaguerra will get us started in the top of the second. Now the one and one pitch. Whoa, that Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The two one. Is swung on and missed and that's strike two. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Late on that one is it's foul off to the left side. Here's the 3 2 from him. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Lutz moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Got it. Good. The third baseman. All right. Here's how the home side's lining up defensively. Yeah. And the average big league shortstop can make every play, but can they make the highlight real play? In order to do that, you've got to be able to put your back foot in the ground and absolutely unload from that 5.5 hole if you're playing shortstop. And that's what this guy does. He brings a different element to the game. He has got an absolute hand cannon. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. The next 3-2. Hit in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit on the ground is short. Scooped up. And that's the second out. That Not a good. lot you can do with that good pitch. Good. That fastball just oh, really? ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Two down, no one on base. And that brings Corey Lee to the plate. No score here as we play inning number two. The breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Lutz is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. of the inning now and next to bat will be the outfielder Casey Golden. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses one for ball. strike number two. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Again, a one-two. 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best that ones have that late action that just baseball. darts at the last minute. Okay. They're so tough to get the bat on. Okay. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. At the plate, Cody Hosey. And they'll go two off speed one. here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Fastball. Oh, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Rodriguez is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are that two gone. The first baseman. Michael. So next to hit is Michael Tolia as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Tim Kate, a lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Number 80. Now at the plate, Jared Kelnick. Adam fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Golden comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Batting it. The left fielder. Shaw. Jacobson. Next, here is Sean Jacobson. The 1 1. Is swung on and missed for strike number Count two. One and two. Down the left field line and deep, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting gun. The first baseman. Now with the plate is yeah. Nick Prado. Prado. The one-two. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. That misses and we're even at two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Golden able to track it down for the third out. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Forrest Whitley the tall right handed reliever takes over pitching duties out of the bullpen now. So now here is Brett Beatty. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Field it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. 
batting it. The second baseman. Next to hit, Chase Strump. The 2 1 home. That's an off speed pitch taken for a ball. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. He loses him on ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Now at the plate, here is Kristen Lutz. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. That's popped up. Fredo in foul ground. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Now batting, shortstop, CJ Abrams. Stepping in once again is CJ Abrams. It was a flyout for him to start the home first. Throw over to the bag, and a dive, but he's back in there. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. To third, reined in. And he'll go the short way to retire the shot. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete, and we are tied, nothing, nothing. Manuel Vizcaino is ready now and he'll take the ball the from the manager. Futures, number 36. Manuel Vizcaino. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Robert Poisson flew out in his only at bat so far. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Swing and a liner. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Standing in now, Jason Dominguez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Throw over to first. He's Don't safe. want to forget about him. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Popped him up. Abrams has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now back, second baseman. Yeah. De La Guerra. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chad De La Guerra. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A ball and two strikes now. A 
Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. So it's a two run shot to right center as it's now a two nothing ball game. There's still some game left to be played but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Josh Young. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Over to first and that retires the side. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. The AL Futures on top two to nothing. Simeon Woods Richardson, a right handed reliever standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Connor Scott. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Ball. We got two balls, one strike. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now have catcher. Batista. Next, it'll be Raul Batista struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but. No one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Scooped up. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Blake now, Casey Golden. High and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Seth Corey, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Number 54. Set. Glory. New inning set to get underway. And next will be the speedy catcher, Corey Lee. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And it's one and two. I got to count one and two. Right hander starts to loosen out to the bullpen now. Here comes the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there yeah Matt that's now the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier to the plate now Jared Kelnick. Outside two and one. Right. 
Swung on and missed that strike two. Yep. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. No problems for him on the mound now since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's yeah, making good, it look good. pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box now, Sean Jacobson. And there's Still ball two now. Good. The 2-1. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And that is off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. It's not exactly Fenway Park out there in left field, but a ball off the wall is not a gimme double here either. So even though he almost drove it out of the ballpark, it was well played off the carom. They got it in quickly, and he might consider himself lucky to beat that throw at the second base. Stepping in now, Nick Prado. A ball and two strikes. Ready on one and two. Nope. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Not surprised he's late on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. So they can't make anything out of the two-out double. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Matthew Thompson enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. The American League future, number 22, Matthew Thompson. Into the box, Cody Hosey flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Now the 2-1. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. That ball was smoked, but he's gone nonetheless to start the home fifth. Michael. Tolia. So next to bat will be Michael Tolia. Hit hard to short. He's got it. And there are two away now. Now back the designated hitter. Correct. Maybe. So now into the box is Brett Beatty. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Two out, nobody on. Now that's popped up. Prado is under it near the mound, and he makes the catch to retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Five innings complete. The AL Futures lead it two to nothing. D.L. Hall please. takes over to start the now sixth pitching, inning on the mound. The National Futures, number 50, D.L. Hall. Stepping up is Robert Poisson. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Here's the one and one pitch. Walton. Counting 
There's one hit in the air to the right side, and this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Into the box, Jason Dominguez. A tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. One out, nobody on. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Payoff pitch home. Swing and a little blooper to center. Strumpf ranging into the outfield, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batting the right fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Next to stand in is Julio Rodriguez. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. Daniel Espino enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the American League future, number 15, Daniel Espino. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Chase Strumpf. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And that misses two and one. Two balls, one strike, the count. Hit in the air to shallow center. Dominguez comes on now, and he has it one down. Now batting, the right fielder. First bat. So the next to bat will be Lutz. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Breaking ball, called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Standing in now, C.J. Abrams. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. pitch got him swinging and that will end the inning Your Johnny Mack is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven 
number 11, Johnny Matt. Vidal Brujan is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Vidal Brujan. The 2 1 home. Count now, three and two. Now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Three two pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little yeah. nervous out there. The Some baseman. people call it butterflies, yeah. but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls yeah. are flying around in his gut. Going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. Kevin Maiton will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 24, Kevin Maiton. Rupan on at first, nobody out. Soft liner to the right side, and that's in there, base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. You know, it's funny, the first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes, it's for the team. You've got to shorten up and find a way, and that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. Adley Rutschman will get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. First and second here with nobody out. Lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows now this man. guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That yeah, pitch man. wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. At the plate, Jared Kelnick down the left field line and deep and it's a foul ball the next three two hit down the third baseline eighth pitch of the at bat coming up and it's fouled away Another full count pitch home. Lifted in the air to center. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. In now, Sean Jacobson. Now that's popped up. Tolia is there for it. Two down. Now that the first baseman, Nick Brado. 
And now in the box, Nick Prado. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. High and deep down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Runners at second and third with two gone. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. So it's one run on two base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. The AL Futures lead this one three to nothing. Vidal Brujan will stay in the ball now game now as he comes on to play second here. Vidal Brujan. Kevin Maiton remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Adley Rutschman will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now Jared pitching. Gutu the gets the call League from the pen Jared. to take the ball for the Number home seventh. Jared Gutu. Justin Dean is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Justin Dean. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. Batista. Donnie Hitting. Bell steps into the on-deck circle now looking to start Number something seven. here with one gone in the Donnie. inning. Bell. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to third. And there goes the combined no-hitter. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game, so the no-hit bid will end right here. Yeah, Matty V, and this is when you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, Dero. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut stares at you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched a heck of a game. But from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that field. Okay. He bailed him out with a swing three and two now. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Here comes the payoff pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he now just didn't it. get the bat through the, the zone in time. Man. The pitch no was day. away. He let it get deep, no maybe trying day. to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Jamie Leese come on to pinch hit here in a big for the spot. League futures, number 10, Jamie Lee. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. From the stretch. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Ladies Justin Dean is the new center please. fielder after coming on as a pinch hitter during the last half inning. 
Justin. Donnie Bell will stay in the ball game, now taking over the catching duties seven. behind the plate. Bell. Nick Plummer will stay in the ball game three. now and take over yeah. in left field. Plummer. Jamie Lees is going to go ahead and Number stay in the ball game and play third now. Lee. Blake Walston has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 34. Kiani Kavako is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. One and one, here it is. One and two now. One and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Gabriel Masio will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. Number eight, Gabriel Masio. To the left side, but it's well fouled. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Julio Rodriguez waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Into the box now, Julio Rodriguez. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. Lutz gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Yanni Cavaco is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Gabriel Masio will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Number eight, Gabriel Masio. Jared Sanchez is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Sanchez. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Michael Tolia. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Stepping in now, Brett Beatty lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move, and they can't run it down. A runner at second, nobody out. And two now. Chase Strump is on deck. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. 
Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now, now into box. Base. Chase Strump. Okay. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fouls this one off. Two pitch. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And that miss is ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. He's going to be pretty now upset with himself Mike about Huber. that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Now to the plate, here is Tristan Lutz. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. One one home. Ball inside. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Set and the two and one pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Tolia at second. Strump at first. One gone. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Jiwon Bay will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Number 90. Lewis Cavanaugh enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Vidal Brujan. The 1 1. Fastball taken high for a ball. Now the 2 1. A little bouncer. Try it 2 2. Heading out towards shallow right. Lutz has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. The third baseman, number 24, Kevin Maiton. Next to hit is Kevin Maiton. One for one with a single so far. Bases are empty, one man out. swing and he just fouls this one away. And a 
a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Well, you gotta love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball, and if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's gonna have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. To the plate now, Adley Rutschman. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. The AL Futures on top, three to nothing. Ladies Kenny Carrillo, the man called on to close this now one and earn a save in the night. American League Futures, number 25, Kenny. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Justin Dean. Push softly over toward the right side. And there's one yeah. away. Now that the catcher, Johnny Bell. Next up is Donnie Bell, singled in his last at bat. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Nick Plummer. Full count now, three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, it sure feels good to shut somebody out. This was a 3-0 game that featured a lot of great pitching and timely hitting, which made the difference in this one. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The AL Futures took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Forrest Whitley is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Fans, our final line score. First, for the victorious visiting team, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the home team, no runs on only two hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, 2.15.
2 hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.